Well, with me now, two goal, Morgan Williams and under-18s head coach James Oliver Pierce. Ruthless, relentless, all those kind of Don's values on show tonight, James. Uh, yeah, scoring seven goals is great. I actually don't think we were as ruthless as we could have been. I thought we missed a fair few opportunities in the second half. Um, and I thought we were made to work. The first 20 minutes wasn't wasn't vintage us. We looked like the nerves got the better of us for the first 20 minutes and AJ's made a save probably from our own own mistakes really. Um, and I thought once we got the first goal it settled us down and there was a, a period in the first half of 15-20 minutes where we just looked like every time we went forward we'd score. Um, the detail that we was getting from, from Rob Tuvey and, and from Michael Hamilton and Nick, Nick Wright definitely helped. We managed to get the forwards a bit closer together which meant our full backs got a bit more joy on the outside. Um, in, the, in the first half, then second half, the first 15 minutes, unbelievable, intensity, quality, everything there. And then I felt when a couple of the goals were disallowed for offside and, and we've hit the bar twice, I think that, that then boys were just like, oh God, when's this goal going to come? Um, and they, they kept at it, I don't think, but for the last 15 minutes or so we were great. Um, everyone else seems to think otherwise, I've just seen us be a little bit better on a Saturday morning. I am amazed in terms of that, you, even as head coach now, having scored seven goals, that you can still find room for improvement, James. Yeah, this, that's my job. I'm, like, I'm not here to be uh, like their biggest fan. My job is to try and make these boys better, to push them into the first team um, and, and successful loans and careers, etc., wherever it may take them. But I'm still, I just look and go, we've, we've, we've definitely been more ruthless, we've definitely made better decisions and we've definitely played more with more freedom before. Um, and... They, in my opinion, I don't think they'll want it any other way. They, they want me to be able to push them and stretch them, um, because the minute I become a fan and I stop doing that, then they're going to stop developing. Well, let's bring Morgan in. Morgan, two goals for you tonight. It could have been even more. Tell us about the second one in particular. Yeah, the second one. It was, I mean, it was it was scored from the corner, so it was a front a front post delivery, but everyone seemed to miss it out, and it just 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 came off the back post and and into the back of the net. So yeah. What can you say about this team spirit that you've got together now? Because, I mean, confidence has got to be sky high, yeah? Yeah, I mean, brilliant. It's, we're 10 wins in a row. We're undefeated in all, in all competitions this year. Um, I mean, the togetherness we have in the team, we see it out on the pitch. We get together when there's pauses and breaks in, in the play. We're, we're working together. We, we're, we're trying to develop the, uh, the we, not me team. So we all like, work together. We all make the right decisions. And we're unselfish. And I think it shows when we're scoring, scoring seven goals in front of the fans tonight. I think it, was just, it shows where this team can go. Yeah, how much are you enjoying that now, and particularly being out there and playing in front of those fans tonight under the lights here? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's brilliant. I mean, at Plough Lane, back you know, back, back, back where it all started, and then the fans, I thought tonight were brilliant. All, all the young academy boys came out, uh, came out in spirit, and then I think, I think we turned up to it, and I think, I think we played the football I think that they deserve to watch at, at, at times in the game, yeah. That was incredible, wasn't it? I mean, having those, those young Dons academy players out there as well, just, just cheering you on. How did you feel about that? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's great. We were once there. We were all there cheering on the 18s a few, a few years back, and now hopefully they can see that, I mean, what, what, what it's like to be one day in our feet. So I think it's great that the academy is so close together and to have everyone there today was, it was brilliant, yeah. James, you're talking about the fact that you know the confidence is sky high at the moment. Have you just got to be careful? You've just got to keep them on that steady, narrow kind of road still. Yeah, like I said, that just I know everyone's going to be really excited, and the boys are, and, and it's it's a competition everyone wants to do well in. But there's there's lots of room for improvement tonight. Like we've conceded too many chances that that were either of our own doing or not not defending well enough at set plays. Um, so there's a lot that we can be better at, and and that that's our job as a group now to go back not get carried away because every game is a, is a new challenge. Um, every training session brings a new new obstacle for us. So, yeah, there's not, nothing to be carried away with. It's one game, it's one win, and now it's about focusing on South End on Saturday. Two for, of course, as we said, for Morgan, two for, for Quain as well, one for Marcel, one for, for Paris, but also... Um, Remy, great, one for Remy. Remy, yeah. great to see Archie Stevens. Yeah, Arch, Archie's a talent. We all know what he can do. Um, but sometimes I've just said it to him in the changing room. Sometimes I forget he's fifteen. Um, he's fifteen years old. He's playing in the under 18s regularly, and he's he, he creates or scores almost every game. So our expectations of him are really high. Um, he's just confident enough to pull me and Robbo for a chat, which is which is incredible for a fifteen year old. Um, and he's just saying that he thinks he, like he thought his decision making was good, but his execution wasn't quite right, which. Great reflection, and some uh, I've had to eat my own words a little bit because I think I've got it wrong. From my vantage point, it didn't look that way, 
from everybody else is he he's spot on. So yeah, we've had a good chat about that and and something that he would definitely learn from from this experience. But you're always looking, aren't you? I mean, you're going down to that under 16s team that you were previously in charge of, of course. And there was a young bench as well tonight, wasn't it? Very young. Uh, we've got some really talented boys. Um, any of them, if if needed, would have gone on and and I'm sure done themselves and their families proud. So. We've got we've got good people and good roles. Jack Matthew and and Hasib and are doing a great job with them. Um, and if if they're needed, they'll be used. Hopefully now we've got some more under 18s coming back, so that'll get again probably give me more of a headache, but one that I'd rather have than than not. Finally, Morgan Moss, we've got here as well. Of course, got to talk about Wales. How's that going? Because of course, you know, we've got international breaks coming up. When's when's the next situation for you with Wales? Yeah, there was supposed to be an international camp in November, but it's it's been cancelled. I'm, I'm not sure why, probably due to COVID reasons. Um, but yeah, we had a recent game against England uh, about a month back. We drew, we drew one also. That's going great. But yeah, I mean, fo you've got to focus on this now. And then I think if we keep building how we are, then we'll just keep 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 progressing.